I'm, uh, I'm trying to dress nicer on stage when I perform, because uh, a guy came up to me after a show not too long ago, and he goes, hey, great show, but wanted to let you know there's a hole in the armpit of your shirt. And I was like, oh, really? And I looked to see which one it was. It was both. <laughs> I had holes in both armpits of my shirt. Because I just wear clothes until they fall apart. Like, I'm clean, I observe hygiene, but clothes with holes, who cares? This guard is supposed to help us. I will wear a pair of boxers until they're just a rubber band around my waist <laughs> and just hanging bolts of fabric <laughs> so that I can stand over the toilet and just <laughs> sigh my contents out of my cloaca. No, no. Anyway. I'm trying not to do that anymore, though, because a few months ago I was lying in bed reading, and my wife came into the bedroom and she goes, oh, uh, uh. Uh, It came right down. Reading from your vagina. <laughs> and I wanted to see what she saw. I don't, I don't have a vagina, so I was curious. And uh, it was pretty awful what she saw. Basically, I was wearing a pair of boxers that I got in maybe 1991. <laughs> and when I got them, they were bright red, fire engine red. They were the talk of the town. Just a beautiful garment. And, uh... Beanies! Decades that passed, they started to fade and become like a, like a nice salmon color, and then like a light pink. And then about a year ago, they tore up the middle. Not a problem. And then after that, the original bright red fabric thread tendrils began to peek out the sides. So what my wife saw was pink, pink, and then a gaping red wound, and then just a bunch of fur and meat and garbage. So I threw him away. Not because she's my wife, but you know, she's a person and you wouldn't do that to a roommate. Another thing I like about the UK is that you can order your groceries online here. I think you can now do it in America, but when I moved here five years ago, you couldn't. And uh, the reason that I think it started here is because of population density. Like, we're all this close to each other right now in this theater, but when we leave here tonight, we'll still all be exactly this close to each other. <laughs> It took them a while to figure out in America, though, because in America, it's like person, three farms, another person. Plus, if you ring a doorbell in America, you just get shot twice in the face, and then, and then they try to figure out, hey, I wonder why he rang my doorbell. So anyway, I love ordering my groceries online. Uh, it's pretty great. It's not perfect. Like, not too long ago, I was uh, doing the weekly shop, and uh, I got to mint tea. And I typically spend a while on the mint tea page. I drink a lot of mint tea, you can probably tell. And... Um, Something was wrong, though. The, the, it, was, it was super expensive this week, and I couldn't figure out why. But then I was like, mm, are they going to deliver it to this couch? Then I don't care if it's 300 pounds. Order. And uh, the next day, I found out why it was so expensive when they had delivered to me a pallet of mint tea. Okay? <laughs> so I now own all the mint tea in Greater Metropolitan London. If you want mint tea now, you got to come to me. And so I'm drinking it like crazy. I'm just going bananas. I'm not making it the treat that it should be. I'm bathing in it. I'm just going insane. And uh, a while back, my wife and I were going to watch some TV. And so I made the tea, and she made popcorn. And I finished first. And so I'm walking back into the living room to sit down and watch TV. And I'm just kind of waltzing along, not being careful with my mint tea, on account of I got so darn much of it. And uh, I plop down on the couch, and I immediately spill the whole cup of boiling water right here. None got on my thighs or stomach, just 100% on the C&B. And, and uh, fortunately, there was a glass of water on the table next to me, so I just tore my trousers off and stuck my dick and balls into the glass of water. I was like, Urgh. Like, the way that you would think you would fuck a woman when you first hear about sex when you're like six years old. You're like, oh, okay. So I put my soft penis and testicles inside her, and then I scream into her mouth. Okay. Urgh. Urgh. And... And then at that moment, my wife came in with the popcorn and she goes, what happened? And this is what I said. I go, I think it's pretty fucking obvious. And she just pirouetted with the popcorn and walked back into the kitchen. And uh, then I kind of calmed down and realized there might not be any permanent damage. And then I realized, you know what? It might not be perfectly obvious what has happened. Might might not be perfectly obvious. Meanwhile, she's come face to face with a fucking aquarium of nightmares. <laughs> so, I had to do something I don't like to do, which is apologize. <laughs> I don't like to do it, but I do it. I, uh, honestly, like, what, I'm sorry. What is that? Like, 
vapor and sound waves, right? You'd think it probably weighs nothing, right? If you added up all the I'm sorry's I've said to my wife over the years, I promise it would weigh 700 metric tons, okay? <laughs> Whereas she's never said it once. I've literally never heard her say, honestly, I swear to God, when she dies in a fire in February, I think the, <laughs> the, the coroner is gonna be like, Mr. Delaney, come here. And I'll be like, yeah, and he'll be like, if you notice, if you look in the uh, oral cavity where the soft and hard palate, you know, from the structure on the cavity, she, couldn't, she actually couldn't produce the words, I'm sorry. She couldn't make the noise, I'm sorry. That's why you never heard it, you stupid asshole. Okay, all right.